They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omi! What is it? Front doors! Lee, Isn't help! Cut their fucking arms well. off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! I really don't get... Oh, didn't mean to hit that one. Let's go. Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Or not. Shit. Get upstairs. Go. Hello, Bree. Goodbye, Bree. Guys, help me with this. Oh, you want to need to help. The guy with one arm. Did we really move it like two centimeters? What the fuck? Dude. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway. Take a fucking stamp. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. I'll know where to aim. Get ready. Krista, you're moving too fucking slow. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck that gun. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Thanks, Ben. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? No, I'm Are not okay. Hidden? Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. No, you're not. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. Hey, don't stop. Please, please. I'm okay. I'm really paranoid. No. What did 
that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. Hotel, hotel, holiday inn. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know- Because I'm not a dick like not you? Not, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here. But how is this yes, not the a fuck thing? you are, Kenny. We're oh my gosh, up shut the Clementine fuck up. Forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you? And it was Duck out there. Whoa there, friend. I bet friend. you'd rather stay focused on the problem. Not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. Fuck his face. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Thanks to me, I found a way. Face the yeah, bastard. We can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! Yeah. About 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg. I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody for anyone again. The world's got enough evil in it. And, you know, hey, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? Yeah, me. The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista. Yes, we are. 
It's what I want, okay? What about him? <laughs> what do you two think? He's a I think he's group. an asshole. I feel bad for him. Yeah, I feel bad for him too. He loses shit like that often? No, nah, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him, though, right? Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hon. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bit. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just you are like I did it hell. on purpose, you motherfucker. Took some brass. I don't think I would have. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. After everything, he's still a bastard, you know, kid? Been hearing that my whole life, Doc. Well, cheers. Sure. Gonna die anyway. Things are looking up. Krista's pregnant. Womp, womp. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Died together. They took marriage very seriously. To death do they part. Smart. Look at all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. 